tired, sore, miserable. Those three words describe how student Zachary Wartman says he felt when his Lyme disease relapsed last year. All my joints hurt and my muscles hurt. And it's just one of those days where you don't really want to do anything at all. Wartman has had chronic Lyme disease for two years, and he says the hardest part isn't having it, but having to constantly be on guard. Every time I get sick, I have to go into the doctors and get another blood test just to make sure I'm not having a relapse. Dr. Jorge Banak has been researching Lyme disease for more than 20 years. He says the greatest medical mystery now is why it keeps coming back to afflict the same person. Banak says there is currently no way of telling when a relapse will occur. The remissions get longer and the relapse is smaller, so the trend is toward improvement, but this can last years. Although most cases improve with antibiotics, some can leave devastating damage. And your joints have taken a hit, you know, you may never be the way you were before. Lyme disease is most prominent in the Northeast, where deer ticks are common, and states in the region are reporting significant jumps in the number of confirmed cases, according to the Center for Disease Control. The cause is still unknown, but may be explained by possible tick increases from global warming and better reporting of Lyme cases. New York State ranked number one last year with the most confirmed cases at over 57,000. Borrelia bacteria, the organism that causes Lyme disease, doesn't grow well, making lab research more difficult and time consuming. The Borrelia divides once every 12 hours. So there's a very long period of cell division in the Borrelia, only exceeded by that of Mycobacteria, which is the organism that causes TB, tuberculosis. Both Banach and Wartman say the best way to prevent Lyme disease is still by thoroughly checking yourself after being outdoors, especially places like your back and clothing, to the point where it should almost be a religion. For Stony Brook University, this is Carol Tang.